Hey, YouTube people. Getting ready to set up our first uh, net fence. Well, it's not the first one, but our first paddock for the bucks. Got Gandalf and Billy Bob over there. They're up in their paddock where they've been all winter. They go way up there. They had quite a bit of uh, grass there. You know, they got whatever that is, a quarter acre or something. But we're going to let them down in here now. Some good grass going. I'm going to show you when we set up this net fence, we get it uh, onto close to a post, and then we have the, uh, this isn't hot right now, but we, we hook it to a hot wire down there, and come up here and hook it to our, see this thing here is the, the solid, oops, the solid, uh, that metal piece is what joins all the stuff, so we hook that up there, and ends up hooked up real solid not touching anything of course you don't want your fence touching your post or anything metal and what we do is we come along we, we, we put the whole thing in uh, with the main you know the, 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 the regular posts that come on it and then in order to get it up off the ground just a little bit and reinforce it because we got bucks in here and we may have them coming, or we may have some does coming over in this part here eventually. You know, I may cut this, cut another fence over here. Right now the does are way over there in another paddock. But if we ever get next to one another, we don't want these bucks getting out of here, obviously. So we want a good hot fence that doesn't short out on the weeds. We went down here with our, our BCS uh, sickle bar cut ourselves a byway a fence way to go down that sickle bar comes in real handy then we collect all that and take it up and feed rabbits and baby goats and if we have to we can put some around you know fruit bushes and stuff upstairs uh, near the homestead but anyway so we're gonna come back behind I've thrown one of these fiber posts you buy at tractor supply if you wait for a sale, I think you can get them for a dollar ninety-nine or a dollar eighty, ten percent off something. And we put them in between. So you can see what I did is I put them back about six or ten, eight or ten inches off of the fence line, put it in the ground, and then I and then I, I pull it up so that this bottom black wire right here is actually off the ground. Do you see that? That bottom black wire is actually off the ground. And it's only hooked in three spots, but it keeps it up real good. Like this one here, of course I pulled this tight. This bottom black wire right there is tight. But now when I come and put this one in, that one's missing a, a step in. But I'll put it in about here, away from the, the thing at a little bit of an angle erg, and put it in there and then come back up in here and pull it up so you see I pulled that bottom wire up right and then I'll just find where it naturally wants to hook so there's one two sometimes I'll put the, the top one in the clipper so it can't come undone but basically that's what that looks like and of course we have a a ditch here what we call the weep and um, we're gonna have to do some special stuff there I might show you a picture of that later but this does get filled with water about anywhere from one to four inches it might flow for a couple days after a good rain but uh, you got to build this fence across there ideally I don't like to have a post right in the bottom of it like like we have here I like to have one post on one side and one post over on the other side and then I have you know it's it's above it and I take my step in posts my reinforcers and put them a couple three of them down there so the whole thing will be off of the off of the bottom of the canal so even if there's water flowing underneath it's not going to catch on the fence you know your water crossings you've got to have plenty of space underneath them I don't know if you can see but there's there's a um, stream crossing there with T-posts and electrified twine 
and I've got I never get anything caught under there because that electrified twine's a good 12 inches off of the ditch the bottom of the ditch right so that's what you generally want but there's Billy Bob and Gandalf a bunch of crows over there eating the seed I just threw out to uh, throw I was growing some fodder for them when they get back on there but uh, those crows seem to get to it before anybody and before it can grow so um, there you go hope that helps you out setting up your net fence and temporary paddocks